what's up clashers turn 56 from iconic here bringing you another base breakdown video and this is one of the bases that i attacked in iconic war 109 i was able to get three stars on it and i'll show you how i was able to do that so as always with these videos i'm going to go through the base breakdown first we're going to show you what the weaknesses are why i chose the strategy i chose and then we'll go ahead and watch the replay so with this base, I was the first attacker on this base, and uh, I normally have some idea, pretty good idea, of where the traps are going to be, meaning the giant bombs and the Teslas, but this base has so many potential locations for all those. There are so many voids in this base that there's really just no way to know. So... I decided that the best way to attack this base would just be to, to not try to pop any double giant bomb pairs. It was going to be too hard, so I just left the hogs at home, and I brought loons and valks. That's how I decided to take this down. I wanted to take out these four defenses here and these four defenses here with balloons first, and then push into the core with a golem and some valkyries my heroes and a kill squad and then have a few more loons to push in on the back end at the end um, a lot of exposed defenses here these air defenses are all in the core they do not have good coverage on these they barely have coverage on these two none here none on that cannon once again just barely on you know these two defenses over here Expos also set to ground, so not an issue at all for loons. So I trained up a whole bunch of balloons. I think I trained up uh, 18, if memory serves. Maybe it was only 16. And my plan was to to drop in two or one at a time right at the beginning. This would uh, clear out these defenses and also buy me the lure. Uh, so two in on that guy, two there, and one there. And the same thing over here on the other side. And I was hoping maybe any balloons left over from one of these archer towers might be able to drift over and, and take out the cannon on both sides as well. That didn't end up happening, so I had to actually invest in uh, two more on each of those cannons. But I really wanted this entire circle taken down. I was very aware of the potential for Teslas in this void up here, as well as in, in up in front in this void here, so I was ready as soon as I saw Teslas pop. If they did, I was ready to drop more balloons, but they did not pop, so I didn't have to do that. Uh, so that bought me the lure, uh, which I was able to bring up north, and uh, excuse me, this uh, picture is a little bit cropped here, so took that out up here with a pretty standard kill squad. Um, this is where my attack kind of faltered just a little bit because I forgot what my plan was on the kill squad. I forgot how I planned on killing the clan castle. I went a little bit short on it. I only brought one witch this time, thinking maybe I could uh, take advantage of that troop space elsewhere. So I got them going down. Uh, I drop a golem up here. With the kill squad, I end up. Uh, I thought the wall breakers would go here, but of course they came over here and they broke this open. But that's all right. The golem redirected. Jump spell here, and then I have three heal spells for my Valkyries and my core troops as they're in here. And uh, I had all my all my redheads pouring here. I believe I had ten of them. They all made it into the middle, and they just completely destroy this core. Um, they have a hard time, of course, the weakness of the Valks is the walls, and so they had a hard time getting back out, but that's why I had those back-end loons. I had um, four left, I believe, at the end, so I send them in something like, something like this, I think, to over here. Um, it was a close attack. It was down to the last 10 seconds or so. It was tighter than it should have been probably because I wasted a lot of time on that kill squad and was kind of inefficient at some points. I could have been better uh, aiming my, my back end loons as well, but still managed to get the three star out of this one. So let's go ahead and watch the replay and see how it worked out. All right, so we'll watch how this works out here. So two on each of the archer towers. Oh, I guess I, I got those backwards. There's one on the Archer Tower there, two on the Wizard Towers. That's right. Um, 
and not quite able to take out that cannon, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a little bit of help from one of the other balloons, but did not, so I end up having to use two there as well. But I was still happy with that, uh, the start there, getting all those defenses out of the way. All of the defenses around that top semicircle are completely wiped out. Got me the lure as well, which I brought up here. And now here's my five seconds of, what was the plan again? How was I going to do this? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. The plan's already ruined, so now I just improvised, <laughs> threw down some uh, wizards to distract, expensive distractions, but unfortunately it didn't cost me too much. Um, clean it up there. The wall breakers, of course, um, are smarter than I am. Their AI leads towards buildings behind walls, not towards the walls themselves. So of course, they weren't going to go at the same wall the golem was. And there's the jump spell. Um, all the Valkyries pouring in there. Um, do manage to trigger off those bombs, but they're so tanky. As long as you got a heal spell on them, they're going to be able to take pretty much anything you throw at them. Um, and my funnel works really well. I get everybody into the core. The Golem, the Valks, you know, a few of the wizards that are still up. But both my heroes, they're all going in there, which is really nice. Um, and I'm able to keep that heal down at the end, too. So even though they're having a hard time breaking through those walls, at least they're uh, under heal while that's going on. And I've got these back-end loons that are coming in. I should have saved that fourth one there that you see me just drop. Um, would have been nice to have. Speed things up a little bit. I could have put it on that black cannon over there on the west side. It wouldn't have been quite as close of an attack time-wise. But um, uh, I knew I was going to be able to take out all the defenses on this base. Time was the issue that I was most worried about. And uh, my inefficient uh, kill squad and a few other little mistakes that I made cut it real close for me but fortunately I was able to still get the three star on this and I've been liking using the Valks lately the Valks have been treating me pretty well I've been able to feature them uh, several times in the last few wars starting to get a real good feel for how to use them and how many to use so there you go, guys. That was my three-star attack from Iconic War 109. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned a little something. Until next time, this is Turin 56, and keep on clashing.